Hello. Just trying to um, get my image close enough. This is Jacqueline with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. How are you tonight? I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully I can stay in image, stay in frame. So happy uh, Friday evening. And let me just try to get my lighting. It seems a little dark there. Okay. So anyway, this is Jacqueline with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. And I hope everybody's having a good, well, it's not Friday evening. It's Thursday. <laughs> Sorry. I um, switched nights because my son was having a weekly Wednesday appointment. So I um, switched to Thursdays and I had switch to Wednesday, uh, Sundays for my live, so I'm off a little bit, so I apologize. This is Ginger from uh, Digi Doodles, and I'm just doing this one for um, maybe to give to a, one of my students actually in class, so I'm, it's not a DT project, it's just something for fun. I'm just trying to get my um, phone here so I can see any comments, so here, here it is. Hi, Kat. Hi, Robin. How are you? So we're going to go ahead and start. All right. So this is a ginger and she is a digi doodle image. And I also printed up the um, digital paper and it was, I think it was just called coffee. And so here's one of the papers and um, here's one that I, I've already kind of cut them to the size I need. Uh, here's one. It came with um, five or six papers, um, and I printed them up. See, I, and I used the um, that Walmart paper that people use a lot, the Nina that you buy at Walmart, or the, or just the ra rather the Walmart cardstock. That's what this is that I uh, printed it on. And see, I think it printed up nicely, but I um, I have some cute. Um, doodle bug paper, but I use it all the time for my coffee images and I thought I wanted something different. All right, so we'll get started and I hope everybody's having a good Friday evening. Right, here I go again, Friday. It is Thursday, Thursday. You know, for me, I teach and Thursday's my last day of class, but then on Friday I have office hours. So I keep thinking of it being the end of the week and it's really not the end of the week. All right, so I am going to do her hair since her name is Ginger, I'm going to do her as a Ginger. Um, some people would say it's Strawberry Blonde. And some people might think red. So we're going to make her Ginger. So it is, I'm going to use Y38, Y35, and Y17 for her hair. And maybe I can get her a little closer. Hi, Fatima. How are you? Yeah. I think, well, there's a little bit of a lag. You will soon see that I made it closer. So, I'm going to start, let me pull my sleeves up. I'm gonna try really hard to pay attention to the phone so I um, stay in frame. So I'm gonna start with my Y17, which is the lighter color, I know, but when I do hair, I often do um, the lighter color and I bring it out further than I do uh, the medium and the darker just to kind of figure out where I want to um, color her hair at, you know, the darkest colors at. So I go ahead and do it in the lighter first. Um, everybody does it differently. Some people, um, they go with the darker first and there's no definite right or wrong, I don't believe. I mean, maybe there is, but I don't think there is. And uh, if you want to learn to color, I really have done most of my learning from um, watching videos, YouTube videos, and just coloring, practicing all the time. But uh, Kit and Clowder has wonderful classes. That's a good way to, to learn. And um, Jamie from Sweet Sentiment, she has classes. There's several people that have classes, so... It's just I'm not really in the position right now to take classes. So there we go. And I'm going to uh, now go in with my next color, my Y35, my medium tone. And um, doing 
curly hair is a little bit more challenging. I'm just flicking it. And there's not really a huge difference in the colors. I'm using this sweet sentiment paper and so there's not a huge difference in the color. When I did it on the true white paper from um, uh, Copic Express, you could really see a difference. But on this paper, because it's kind of an off-white, you're not. I don't really see a great big difference, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna go back with my darker color, my Y38, and I'm gonna go in here. Now see, you can see that one. And I'm not going as far as I did with my medium. And I'm just going around. Hair takes the longest, and she's got a lot of it. She's all hair. But I think these images are just so cute. I'm sorry, I bet my hand is in the way. I just think these images are so cute. There we go. Uh, Digi Doodles is the one that had the really cute image at Christmas on the kitten clatter that was free. And I did a live on that one. I thought that was just adorable. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to go over here and pull it out just a little bit, a little bit more. Just places I think it would be um, a little bit darker. I'm just kind of going in squiggly. I messed up just a little bit over here, but if we don't tell anybody, they might not notice. But I have a way to fix that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my lightest color, my Y17, and I'm gonna just go over very lightly. See, to give it, that way it has some highlights. Her hair has some highlights. Just going over it lightly. And I'm kind of like this, just trying to do um, squiggly lines, trying to follow how her hair is. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going over it lightly. There we go. And that kind of gives it a little bit of highlight. Mm, I think her hair, yeah, right in there. Then after I color her face, I'm going to go over these little trindles that are falling down on her face. See, there we go. So just very lightly up in here. So now I'm going to take my uh, darker marker and I'm try to see the comments from people. Hi Tanya. Hi Jackie. How are you? Hi Dawn. Oh, I'm sorry Dawn that you're not feeling well. And I understand you deserve a break. Lots and lots of lives. I hope you don't have the flu. That would be awful. A lot of, they're closing down schools here. Not my school because I teach at college. But um, grade schools and things, they're closing them down for a few days because of the flu. To try to clean the schools and um, have kids stay at home to try to get better. I don't know how well that works because, you know, parents work and you're going to send your kid off to daycare or someplace. You know, you can't, not, people don't have the luxury just to stay home. So I don't know how, much, how how that really works when it, if it really is successful at stopping the spread. So I'm just going back over again. See, this is where her part is at. So I'm going in and uh, making it a little bit darker. There you go. And because I used, um, these are yellow, um, and they're a little bit um, rich. The colors are a little bit rich. You know, I don't know if you see much difference, but there we go. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back in, like I said, and do these trindles after um, I get her colored a little bit. Oh, and see, wait a minute. There's a couple right here. These little loop-de-loops. There we go. And sometimes I kind of forget to do those when I'm coloring an image. All right, so let's um, go ahead. And I'm thinking about doing her shoes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do her shoes. So that way 
then maybe, or you know what, I'll do her pants. I'll do her trousers, and then that way I can take this um, little piece of paper off. And if anybody's watching and they're wondering why um, I have the paper there, it's because sometimes uh, images get stolen. Uh, people freeze the frame a little bit, and they um, steal the images. So just trying to help prevent that from happening. Uh, and I don't know. You know, I don't know if it's a myth that they freeze the frames, and we've all kind of... Um, become a little bit paranoid. I don't know. But um, anything to help protect the artist, so that's why I'm doing it. And like I said, this image is just for fun, and I think I'm going to give it to one of my students. He is getting ready to, well, in a month or so, it's going to be Ramadan, and if he loves coffee. He drinks coffee all the time, so I thought I might give him a card. Every once in a while, I make a card and surprise my students. So this is E74 and E71. And I actually need to make a card because one of my students gave me a really nice uh, present at Christmas and I haven't given him a thank you card, so I need to make him a card. I've done all these. Of course, this is a little girl card too, but I've done so many of these little girl cards, I need to do something with one of my boy images and give him a thank you card. Or look through my stash and see what I got. See if I can change the sentiment that I've made during one of my lives. So there we go. So I'm just doing her pants. And just um, where I think it would be a little bit darker, I am, um, you know, trying to use a, a dark, a medium, and a light. So I'm going to use E70. And I'm just going to kind of, and this image is kind of quick because really she's all hair. So, um, you know, <laughs> she's all hair, so not a lot to color on her body. Okay, we'll take this off now. There we go. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that people, do you steal the images off the internet? Or do you think we are being um, a little, I don't know, paranoid about it? I, I'm not sure. I mean, really, you know... There's things you can do, so maybe we're not being paranoid. I don't know. I just think it's nice to be careful because um, these artists put a lot of work into their to the images. So I just trying to be courteous. So B23, B13, and BG11 is what I'm working on next. And so I'm just gonna like do a little test. That's BG13. And this is my BG23. And see, they're very similar. They're very, very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and use my BG23, actually, for her shirt. And I'm just going around the edges here. And see, this paper um, has sparkles in it, so it... It just makes your coloring, when you're done, the sparkle, when your um, alcohol ink dries, the sparkles come through and it's just so pretty. It's not, it's not real smooth. If you want really smooth paper, uh, the Spectrum Noir paper or the um, Copic Express is really smooth. And if you want really white paper, those are the two I would really recommend. And I really think they're equivalent to each other. I don't think one is better than the other. Um, I, I like, I have Spectrum Noir paper and I love it and that's what I've used for a long time. But when I want something to have kind of a warm feel to it, then I do use this um, Sweet Sentiment paper. So it kind of depends what I'm using, uh, what I want the image to be like. You know, you got to use your own um, judgment. Yeah, I hate it that Dawn is feeling bad. She's, my gosh, she does so many lives a week and... Just all sorts of stuff to, um, you know, that people just love watching. So I hate it to hear that she's not feeling good. Now this is the BG13, and see, really, it's richer than the one that I just put on. So I'm going to go back over again and add, um, like, pull this color out with the other marker. And then I'm going to go in with my lighter. I'm a little heavy-handed, so I'm trying to be careful here. So I'm going to go back in with my BG. 
23, so I'm already going back and forth, back and forth, and then I'm going to use my light to pull it all out, my BG11. So I'm just kind of pulling this out. It's that time of the year where people are getting the flu and feeling ill. You know, it's scary. We have, um, like I said, they're closing down schools in my area, so it's scary. But I don't know that on the college level, I don't know that they would ever close it. In all the years I've worked there, and that's been a lot, they've never, they don't close when people are sick. They barely close when the weather's bad. Okay, so I'm just going in with my lighter color. Okay, the, there we go. And I'll probably go over this a couple of times. I cannot quite decide if this is just her shirt all bunched up. I'm just not real sure. See, it's right in here. I'm not sure. So I'm pulling out the darker color. I'm just kind of working it, getting my um, paper wet, and just kind of pulling it out where it's a little heavy and spreading it out. That's what I'm trying to do here. See, and it's moving. The ink moves nicely. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, that she's all hair, so she's a little easier to, to color. Now, um, I was actually going to use the, this for her shoes, too. They're, they're really little boots. So I'm going to do her shoes. And so I'm using the, um, I'm going to use the BG-13 and the BG-11. And I'm just putting like a little touch. I don't want to put too much. And a little bit right here. A little bit here, just a little touch. See, just a little touch. And I'm not sure that I'll need two coats because her shoes are quite small. And so I'm just going to pull this. You know, I'm going to take both ends off. I'm afraid of, uh, you know, a big glob of ink. There we go. See, and I'm just going to pull this down. I'm kind of working it a little bit right in here. There we go. And a little bit more. Yeah, see, I, I don't, I just don't, I'm putting a couple of layers of the color on, but I don't think I need to go over it two and three times. And then I am going to take um, a pencil, because, and this is a Prismacolor pencil, and I'm just doing, see, it's very small here. So I'm just going to go in here and do this a little edge where the sole is. See, just a little bit. And um, her shoelace. So small that really a marker is not going to fit in there very well. So I'm just kind of going in. And you can add pencil. You can layer marker and pencil. It doesn't hurt. It's perfectly fine to do. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my BG11. And I'm just doing the edge of her pants here. She's got a little bit of a ruffle. So I'm just doing the edge. And then I'm going to do it a little bit more on the sides there. And back again. Okay. And now we're going to do her socks. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Hi, Tanya. I was trying to see who all's here. I've been coloring and not paying attention. I and mean, I see Fatima's here and Sharon and Kat and Robin and all sorts of people. So, that's so nice that people are joining me tonight. Okay, I am going to use... Um, v, um, let me pull it out. The V00 and the V12 uh, on her socks. And they are quite, see, they're just very small. So I'm just going to go in and they're striped. So I'm just kind of going in just lightly because really they are very delicate. And then I'm just going to go in here like that. Like so. There we go. And now I'm going to use these same colors and do the heart. She's got this little heart. So I'm going to go back in. I'm just kind of working this color right here. There we go. And then I'm going to go back a second time. And the more you layer, um, the richer it looks. So it does, I do like to do it more than once. Sometimes, like the socks, there's just not a lot of room in there, so I just didn't. There we go. 
So that gives us a little bit of shading on her um, heart. Yeah. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I love purple too, Fatima. It's like one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I love it. Love, love, love it. Just kind of going back in here. Yeah, around here. I often go back over my image a bit when I see where, um, you know, the ink kind of absorbs and dries and where do I think I need a little bit more like oomph. so I'm going back over and then I'm doing her so I'm gonna do this band a little darker but you don't really see much of one it's just real tiny it's right in there and I'm gonna do the edges a couple more times because I want it to be darker than the rest of it see and a little bit more up there now, if you have any questions feel free to ask I'm happy to answer them. I know I'm kind of zipping through. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and color this kind of, um, oh, I almost would think it would be kind of um, sheer, sheer. That's the word I'm trying to think of, sheer. So I'm going to use, let me move these out of the way, because I wanted it to come across as being sheer. So I'm using, um, G00 and G000. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just go ahead and take my marker. My, um, this is a, a fi the fine touch. I don't know what brand this is. Kind of metallic. And I'm going to use that. And I'm using, um, well, they don't have colors on it. See, one's kind of a purple and one's kind of a green. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do these circles randomly. Um, no particular order when we get done she's gonna be so pretty and see the circles are quite little I'm trying to zip through because I know it's alive and you don't want to see someone coloring lots of circles but it kind of ties in with the um, socks oh, and I got to do this little patch there so I'm trying to get a few of them and then I'll do it with the um, this green so we're going to go in, there we go, and there we go. So today, um, one of my students, she is uh, doing an internship at the daycare where my baby's at, and uh, the baby's 20 months old, and she's not really talking yet, she's got a little speech delay, and I asked, my student said, I saw your daughter today. And I said, oh, was she a good little girl? And she said, well, she doesn't talk. <laughs> so I will know. She doesn't. But she's working on it. I just thought that was so cute. And she, when she um, first started the little internship, she asked the uh, workers, the, the teachers, she said, um, how do you get the babies to stop crying? And uh, they told her, she, she said, do you just say, Will you please quit crying? <laughs> they just laughed. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fatima. You're so sweet. I just thought that was so funny that she thought you could just ask, will you please quit crying? And the babies will quit crying. <laughs> it's cute. Stu students of any age are cute. So this is the uh, V000 and the V12. Fatima, you are so sweet. So, 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 so sweet. I feel like I'm zipping through this uh, image. I feel like um, Gail. I'm like zip, 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 zip like Gail does. She's like the fastest crafter I know. And everything she does just comes out beautifully. I'm, mean, You know, it doesn't matter that she's she zip, 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 zip. She is just like so talented. I love watching her. Really, I love watching everybody. I love watching Dawn. She's phenomenal, and she has uh, Don G Designs, and I love watching her. She like is the master of um, layers, and and she be colors beautifully. And then I like watching Sharon on the Noble Crafters. Uh, she and her husband are hilarious when they do a live. So I pick the same colors here to um, go with my heart. See, and with the socks. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was trying to do. To try to keep the colors together. I'm going to go ahead and do her um, face. 
So I am using uh, E00 and E01 and then um, my R20 and I, oh here's my R30. I thought I had lost it but I found it. And then my E11. I want my E11 right here we go. So this is going to be for her face. I'll scoot it over. Oh, hi, Stephanie. Cute and naive. Yes, my student. My Actually, my student, she is very naive. She, <laughs> my, You know, I teach international students, and a lot of my students are, um, you know, they come here and from different cultures and very, 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 um, in some countries, very sheltered. So um, it's just so funny. It's so cute, really. Uh, some of the things they say and do are so cute. I had one student, um, I, I, I take them to open up bank accounts when they very first come because their families are sending them money and it costs a lot to send it and it's cheaper if they do wire transfers, you know, bank wire transfers. So I, you know, I contact the parents and explain it all to them and I encourage the students to, you know, let's get a bank account for you and do all these things. And so I took my student, she had never... Uh, use an ATM machine and that didn't occur to me and she was going to buy her airplane ticket to go home she'd been saving all her money all semester so she had a big stack of money I mean you know for a ticket to go to Russia so she had about $1,200 a big stack and she just shoved it in, all into the ATM machine and so I like reached my hands and grabbed it <laughs> was grabbing it back because I was afraid the machine was going to eat up her money <laughs> And it just didn't occur to me that she had never used an ATM machine before. And so, yes, some of the students, yes, they're very naive when they first come. And, uh, you know, I always contact the parents and let them know what I'm doing because I don't want them to, you know, think I'm doing something, you know, especially with banking. I don't want them to think I'm doing something, uh, you know, that I shouldn't do. And I don't know their accounts or anything. I just take them and uh, sit and wait for them while they... Um, open their accounts. I don't get any of their information or anything like that. But it is much cheaper than doing uh, like Western Union or any of that type of thing. Bank transfers are much, much, much cheaper. So I'm just going back and forth and I'm not really doing the center of her face yet because I kind of want to wait so that she has some highlight and I want her to have definition on her cheeks. So I am using the dark color on her cheeks, but then I'm going to go over it with the blush. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to use um, my R20 and my R30. And so I'm just going to go in here and just kind of, you know, kind of, it, you know, these are whimsical characters. People don't really have these great big circles of, of blush. <laughs> But I am, you know, that is how we seem to color them. So I'm going to just pull this out a little bit around the edges. And then I'm going to go back in now over the whole face with my E00. And that will soften that up a little bit. See, I'm pulling it out to kind of soften it up. And just going over her whole face now. So there we go. So see, that softens that up a little bit. I mean, it's still exaggerated, but not, not quite as, as much. And then I'm going to do her lips, and I'm going to use this R24, R24, and I'm just lightly going in here and doing her lips like this, like that. There we go, like so. We will invoke um, Dawn since she had to leave us. And so we have a highlight going across her face, see, in the middle, because I use that E triple zero. And now I'm just going to go in and do these little, just a little bit, little tresses that are hanging down like that. There we go. Because we wouldn't really leave them looking black so there we go so there she is like that and then I got to do her hand and see if anybody has any I'm going to have to what does it say I'm gonna have to um, oh hi gal 
going to have to catch the replay. That's okay, Stephanie. I will, um, I will put this up. Um, you know, I will edit it a little bit and, um, have it on my page. And I do keep a vlog where I will put my, um, uh, what I did, what colors I used and things. So, you know, if you're interested in, in these colors, of course, you know, this is your image. When you buy it, it is your image and you don't have to color it the same way. Somebody else colors it. So I'm just going back and forth with my E71 and my E70. Like, like that and then I'm going with my E70 down and see there's a little flower right there and we're going to try to color that flower and I want to do that to try to match it to the heart and so I'm going to take my V12 and my V05 or not V05 <laughs> that's that's um shampoo V00 that's what I want to do. So here we go. And that kind of goes, see, that that ties in with the heart and ties in with the bow, ties in with our socks. So that kind of keeps our um, colors kind of um, consistent. I almost think maybe I, sh see, I did this in a green, but maybe I should have done it with the um, purpley color. I don't know. I didn't know if I should have done that or not. I'm going to go back in. A little bit right here see to me I, after the ink dries just a little bit you sometimes see where you need a little bit more shading so I'm just kind of going back in just a little bit okay and then I'm gonna go in a little bit more on the hand on her finger like so there we go just a little bit more isn't she cute? Oh my gosh. All right, so now let me and take R0. I've got my warm gray, my W0, my W2, and my blender pen. And we're just going to go in. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of ground her so she's not just floating. I'm just going to kind of go in like this. Then I'm going to take my W0 and I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to turn my paper a little bit so I can pull out my color. I'm just kind of pulling it out and just kind of pulling out the dark and um, bringing it down so it becomes lighter. And then I'm going to take my blender pen and bring it out a little bit more that. Kind of bring it out a little bit too white. So that way, see we have her grounded. She's not just standing like floating in the air. And then I'm going to take R01, which is pinkish vanilla. And I am going to go in and just kind of, um, kind of just right in here, just kind of um, give her a little warmth. So she, see, just kind of I don't know, added interest a bit. So I'm not going all the way. And it's kind of going like right here, just kind of a little, a little bit of interest, but not all the way. And then I'm going to take my blender pen and pull it out a little bit more. I'll just kind of pull it out and that kind of pulls it out and um, blends it to white and right now you can kind of see it because it's not dry but when it dries it lightens it up quite a bit this sort of gives it I don't know sort of almost a halo effect I'm trying to pull that up a little bit just I don't know there we go just a little added something to the image. There we go. Now we're going to assemble our card. Oh, I'm kind of out of frame. Let me get back in frame. Sorry. Let's see if that, let me look up here. Let me see if I'm 
uh, back in frame or not. Says that. Let me switch my um, plug because it's saying that I'm a little low. So let me switch. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, there we go. So hopefully it's still charging. I don't know. It says that I'm a little low, so I hope it's not my cable. There we go. And I'm back in frame. Sorry, I kind of got out of frame a little bit there. Didn't mean to. All right. I lost a lot of people. I hope that they hope it wasn't boring tonight. Sorry. <laughs> but a lot of times people catch the replay. All right, so I found just a little bit more of that paper I love, and I was able to make my card base. And I'm going to just spread you out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Or, or There we go. So you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just repositioning you. There we go. So I found the card base that I just love. And it's a six by, I made it six by six. And so I'm matting it. And this is that coffee paper that was, um, it's a um, digi, digi paper. And I printed it on my Canon printer. I've got one of those TS952, is that what it is? TS952. 9521 and it's uh, prints 12 by 12 paper. I, I got that and I've been using it uh, for a couple of years now and I love it. It is really a wonderful printer and it prints all sorts of heavy cardstock and little tiny scraps. I print my little sentiments on it. I just take a little piece of um, paper, little, and I'll put through it and print on it. I don't waste any paper. All right, so my glue is being a little stubborn, just a little bit. Let me put this back on and take this one. And this one's about empty, I'm gonna have to refill it. This is art glitter glue. It's my favorite glue. I just love it. Because you can, um, until it dries, you can reposition it, so I love it. I'll just put this on here. It's so quiet in my house, it makes me suspicious what's going on. All right, so now I'm going to take shampoo and hair gel. What was that about? Fatima shampoo. Oh, the VO5. I got it. I'm slow, Fatima. Sorry. Shampoo and hair gel. My husband loves VO5. Actually, so does my oldest son. He, or not oldest, but middle son. He loves VO5. Now, I just noticed I kind of cut this crooked right down here. But it's too late. I've already cut it. So, just notice that. That happens sometimes. Okay. And this is coordinating paper. It all came together. I just thought, how pretty is it? And I think, you know, somebody picky might notice that. But if you're not picky, maybe you wouldn't notice it. I don't know if I'd send the card to anybody with it being off a little bit like that, though. I was going to make it for my student. I'll have to think about it. When we get totally done, we'll look at it and see what we think. So I'm going to put this here. Like that. Like so. It's right here. I think it's pretty paper. And it's kind of cool that it's digital paper. And that you can, um, you know, print at your convenience. I think that's pretty neat. So... Here we go. Now you could print this on um, glossy paper if you wanted and it would have a nice shine. I like more of a matte look, but I know some people like glossy look, and so you could do that too. It's pretty much what you want to do. So I thought I would put that here. I'm just going like this. And here we go. I'm just gonna put her, I'm not gonna put it down just yet because I was thinking about putting her like this, kind of tilted. Yeah, so I think that's okay. Oh, no it's not, no it's not. Goodness, we'll have to add some more glue. I was gonna put a string on it tonight. So let me move this out of the way because I got some glue on the back of this and I don't wanna make a mess. I thought it would be kind of nice to I do a lot of bows, and I kind of thought, well, maybe 
um, ribbon would, not ribbon, string would be kind of nice tonight. So, but I'm not the best bow tire, bow um, person. Let me start this again. As you can see, I'm already struggling. Let me try that again. <laughs> Let me do that again. Let me wrap it like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this one over here. Sorry, I got black ink on my fingers. We'll try this again. Except I got kind of fat fingers here. Here we go. And let's see if I can do this. I, you know, doing things on a live is harder than when you just do it. Okay, there we go. Except the one end, the one end isn't loop-de-looped, -looped, see? Ah, I didn't get a loop there. Hmm, let's try, let's um, try one more time. One more time. <laughs> one more. Okay, here we go again. Here we go. I'm just not good at bows. I usually tie them off air for this very reason. One more. I promise this is the last time. If it doesn't work, then we're just going to leave it as string that ha that's tied in a knot and not in a bow. But I really wanted a bow. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Okay, so now that we have, now that we have struggled, I'm going to pull it tighter like that. Okay, and I'm going to take my scissors and cut this one end. There we go. I just thought it would be kind of nice to have it a little different, a little string instead of the foo-foo-y bows that I use all the time. Although now I know why I use them. They're easier to tie. So here we go. And see, that glue was easy to um, kind of reposition. I could take it back off because it hadn't dried. Now I thought I'd put her like this. And then I'm going to ask your opinion about something after I do that. I'm just going to... And if you're coloring, you see, you see how it comes through? That's fine. People worry about that, but you actually want it to come through because that means it's not um, bleeding out. It's coming through the paper the way it should. So don't worry about that. Sometimes I know people comment that they're worried when they see that, but that's actually the way you want it to be. And um, both Elise from Kitten Clowder and Jamie from Sweet Cinnamon, I've heard both of them say, this, say that, you know, that that's what you want. So, and they're experts. I'll tell you somebody else that's a wonderful colorist is uh, Amy Young and she just started a Facebook page. She colors on YouTube and she's a DT for like seven kids crafting or something, but she just started a, a, a Facebook page and she is like phenomenal and she tells you the same thing. So, okay, I've got her like that. Now I was trying to, oh, I've got a sentiment and then I'm going to ask your opinion. So I was going to put the sentiment here. I have two different th two different um, like embellishments I was thinking about, so I kind of let you guys vote and tell me wh which way to go. Okay, so we take this off, and this is uh, this is from an old set. I need only two things: you and coffee. An old um, Simon Says kit that I I bet you it's hmm, five or six years old now that I had. Um, and I, I, I just love the sentiments. I, there's several of them. Okay, so here we are so far. Now, and, and, and actually this came from that same Simon Says kit, and it's ancient. So I have these, and I thought about putting like the coffee cup and the mug down here. But I also have these, and I kind of thought, I'll show you, that it matched her hair. The, the kind of matches her hair. So I kind of asked her opinion. See, I think the... See, the center matches her hair. So, um, should I put, like, the flowers around, do you think? Or put the flowers around and have the coffee cups? Or just the flowers? Or just the coffee cup and the mug? So, do it not. Uh, see, Fatima, I should have listened to you. 
um, <laughs> so what do you think? So should I put um, these pretty flowers around? Because they, they are sparkly. Let me see if I can find the smaller ones. And the coffee mug or just these flowers. See, it adds a little bit of oomph because it is kind of muted. So I can put that one down there and still have the coffee. What do you think? You like the flowers? I think the flowers are pretty. So just the flowers then and no. See, I could put that there and not have these on. Just have these around. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I always hear that you should have an odd number. So what do you think like that? Kind of out of frame a little bit. I like the flowers. Can you zoom out where you want the mugs? Okay, let me zoom out. Let me let me see if I can get it any. Okay. So what I was thinking of was right here. Should I put the, the mugs? Let me see if I can. I don't want them to stick. Let me see. And as old as these are, they probably won't stick. So I was kind of thinking about putting this. Uh, pull them out. Like this. Maybe right here. Or, um... You know just the flowers around maybe that's too cute cutesy I don't know I think the flowers maybe by themselves look better that's probably why I have had those for so long because it there's nothing that um, it goes with very well so like that we can't see the mug oh you can't see the mug let me bring that mug back see if I put the mug it would be like down here. Maybe bring it up. See if you can see it. I could put the mug and the coffee. I, I would spread them out a little bit. See, I could put the mug and the coffee over here and have the flowers around or just the flowers. So what do you think? I just like the flower. The mug matches her dress. See, <laughs> the mug does match her dress. I can't decide. I'll let the, we've got two different opinions. So the third person, so that's Jackie and Lou, uh, Jackie and Fatima, Fatima. So one more person make a decision. Just flowers or mugs with the flowers. And I'll wait. I like them both. So I need one more person that, that um, tells us what to do. <laughs> See, if I just do the flowers, it would be... Like, like this. And see, they kind of go with her hair. So, let's see. See where our decision's at. Mug. Okay, we're going to go with, with having this. All right. And I think I'm going to add a little glue because of all the touching, you know, I just did. So, we'll put this and kind of tilt it. And we'll put the little mug. And these are doodle bug. Doodle, um, doodle bug shape sprinkles latte love and I've had those they came with a Simon Says kit and I've had them for ages okay and then we'll do the flowers over here you know you can't have too much um, I don't know embellishments makes the images so cute I wish you could feel these these are made out of paper they feel really um, thin they just have a funny, they feel like, um, like thin, like cardboard when you've ripped it. Just kind of a really funny feeling. See if, I almost feel like I need another one up there. So I'm going to add one. So one up there. And then I don't know. Let me see what I need to add. So I think some of them are just so big. If I need to add one more, like right there, here, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. There we go. So there's the card. Let's see what Sharon says. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, you know, Sharon is always uh, kind to me. She's uh, actually, everybody's always kind to me. I think you guys are super duper kind to me all the time. I think I probably come across as the biggest klutz. <laughs> 
but I love you guys and I love doing the lives and chit chatting with you guys. You're my only adult conversation in my life. So I love it. And I love how, um, I don't know, I love watching all our friends and how we kind of, um, I always call it a live hop. We always just hop around and watch each other and I love that. And if you guys like, you know, ever did a live, if Fatima got on and did a live, I would watch you. You know, anybody that does it, Stephanie, she makes fabulous cards. I would watch. Both Fatima and Stephanie make some of the most beautiful cards. So there you go. I only need two things, you and coffee. You know what? If I give this to my student, I might want to change that sentiment because he might get the wrong impression. That might not be a, maybe I'm, I should make a different card for my student. Uh, because that sentiment probably isn't the best, um, now that I think about it, probably isn't a good idea. That might send mixed messages and might get me in big trouble. So I don't think I'll give this to my student after all. Maybe I give it to my husband. Um, just a, just because kind of card. So there, there she is. I think she's pretty. And see as this dries, it becomes more faint. This side's a little heavy and I would go back in here with my blender pen and pull this out just a little bit more. So it fades to white. So I would pull this out just a little bit more. You know, blender pens really kind of just bleach. So I would just pull this out just a little bit more and as it dries, it will fade to white. See this side dried okay. And this side's still a little heavy. So there, and it'll fade like this side and it'll look a little bit better. So there we go. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. A good thought, oh, I, I don't know what was a good thought. I would change the message for that very reason. Oh yes, yes. I don't wanna give this to my student and um, he think, huh, this old lady, what is she doing? <laughs> I had a student tell me, hey grandma. Um, I said, what? He said, in Asia, grandmother is very well respected. I said, how old are you? And he said, 19. I said, that's how old my son is. So no, not hello, grandmother. I think you should say hello, mother, but not hello, grandmother. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me tonight, and I will see you guys. I'm My live is on Sunday, and I'm doing the paper nest doll. It's one of my DT projects. But I just realized it's that big ball game, that um, Super Bowl Super Bowl ball game. So I don't know. I probably picked the wrong day, but I'm doing it at four o'clock on, um, I think that's right, four o'clock on Sunday, I think is what I put down. Um, it's on my Facebook page. So might not have anybody watching. I don't know, <laughs> but I'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.